Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at this tier two part. This is part of a special series of models that we've been releasing that can actually be 3D printed. So you can actually take this challenge, model up this part, and then when you're done, you can 3D print this model and turn it into a functional 3D print. So we're gonna start out here at TooTallToby.com. We're gonna create a free account, and then we're gonna click here to get started with practice models. And here we can see we've got a repository of over 140 2D to 3D challenges. And there are about 20 of these challenges that are free for everyone. And then if you really enjoy the app, you can click here to upgrade to premium and unlock the entire library. Well, one of these challenges, it's totally free for everyone, is this one here, 250201. So let's click here to practice and let's get into it here. We can see that 83 people have completed this model already. We can see it's called Soap Dish Shelf. It's a tier two challenge. And we're gonna be challenged with the whole tool using patterns and using symmetry so let's click go down to the bottom here we're going to say click here to begin and then we're going to say reveal drawing and go so the clock is now running and our challenge is to determine what is the mass of this part in x.xxx grams and we're going to enter that answer in right down here in this box and so for this model i think that the game plan is going to be pretty straightforward i think we're going to start out by creating a rectangle with the origin right here at the center of the rectangle. Maybe we'll go in and we'll add these fillets in that rectangular sketch. So we've got all four fillets in that original sketch, or maybe we'll add them after the fact at the feature level. We definitely go either way. But I think the origin for this part is just gonna be right here in the center because the part has symmetry in two directions. And once we get that main shape in place, all we need to do is create one of these holes and then pattern it in two directions. Very straightforward process, especially when you're working with a 3D CAD tool like on shape. So let's get into it here. I'm gonna take this drawing, I'm gonna move it over to my second screen. I'm gonna bring up on shape here and let's start out here by creating a new part. So we're gonna say create document and I'm gonna call this 25-02-01. This is going to be in the public space, so if anybody ever wants to take a look at this model, you can just log into Onshape and then search the public space. So we'll call this shelf and create public document. If this game plan sounds good to you, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. And we're going to start out here by clicking on the top plane, S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal to, S key, and then we're going to launch the center point rectangle, single click the origin here, move our mouse, single click again, and we're going to type in these dimensions 95.2 and 59.2. Point two. Now, these might seem like kind of weird dimensions. Uh, you know, what's up with this 95.2 and 59.2? Well, the reason these dimensions are a little bit strange is because we are, we are going to challenge ourselves to create this model next, the 250202, the dish base, soap dish base. And then these two parts can both be printed. And then uh, after you 3D print these parts, you can actually fit them together. Well, that means we're going to need some clearance. So in that soap dish base, this dimension is 60 and this dimension it is 96 and that gives us about 0.4 millimeters clearance per side which is usually pretty good to fit two parts together so <clears throat> with that we're going to take this sketch here s key extrude and we're going to extrude that out to a height of two millimeters enter enter and then we're going to press the s key we're going to choose the fillet command we're going to say we want to apply a fillet radius here of 17.6 enter and then you can right mouse button on this edge and you can choose select and you can choose parallel edges select parallel edges and that gets all four of the corners of that extruded boss all at one time really good shortcut there when you're working with the fillet command we have the green check mark and then we can pick this face here s key begin a sketch n key to get normal to and we can sketch a circle or if we, if we don't want to do it as an extrude with remove let me cancel that sketch or what we could do is we could launch the whole command. So let's do this with a whole command this time. So we launched the whole command and then we're gonna say we want this to be a metric hole. We want this to be a simple hole. And then for the uh, points for the location of this, well, we don't have any sketch points, but what we can do is we can choose the select mate connectors option. And the nice thing about that is that then we can click on this face and one of the mate connectors that's automatically solved is the mate connector for center of face. 
So if we just click here on this planar phase, you can see I could click here, the center of that radius at the corner, center of that radius of the corner. I could click here at the midpoint of the edge. Well, I can also just click right here and that'll get center of the entire face. So now all I need to do is just type in what the diameter of the drill is. So that diameter is going to be 13, enter and enter. Boom, done with that hole. And so, of course, you could also do that as a sketch, sketch a circle and then cut, uh, extrude, remove, or cut, extrude that circle. So now we can launch the linear pattern command and we're gonna say we want this to be a feature pattern. And then the feature that we're gonna pattern is gonna be that hole. So you can just pick it here out of the tree. And then for the direction, we're gonna pick this edge down here. And then for the spacing, it looks like the spacing is 17 in both directions. So we're gonna say 17. And then for the instance count, we're gonna use, um, if we use, let's say we use five for the instance count, since it is five all the way across, and then we choose centered, well, we actually end up with nine here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when you use that option for centered, you gotta remember that you're only specifying the instances in one direction. So in this case, it's gonna be three in that one direction, and then we end up with a total of five. One, two, three, and then back to the center again, one, two, three, so a total of five. So now we can choose this check mark here for second direction. <clears throat> and when we choose that second direction, we're gonna say that the second direction here is this edge right here. And then the distance is gonna be 17. And then the instance count for this one is gonna be two. And then the option for centered will be checked on again. And boom, there we go. We got our pattern in both directions. So make sure that you, you know, take your time and practice using that pattern command and you can learn how to use that option for centered and the option for second direction and really save yourself some time when you're creating a pattern that's radiating out from the center of the model. So we hit the green check mark and then all that's left to do is maybe right mouse button on this part here and say um, assign or edit appearance. And once we choose edit appearance, we can choose a color here, like a green, or we can go into mixer and really try to get that to match the customer's color. Customers always like it when you match their colors. And uh, then what we can do is right mouse button on this part again and say assign material. And then when we go into assign material, we're gonna say this is gonna be from the TTT custom materials library, and the material is gonna be ABS. And once we choose that, we can look down here kind of behind the clock. We've got this option for mass. Click on that option for mass properties, click on the part. And we're coming up with an answer of 6.9, but if we hold our mouse over it, it is 6.893. And the question is, what is the mass of this part in x.xxx? So let's type it into the correct precision. Let's say we type in 6.9, we press enter. Uh, the, the field says, no, that's incorrect. 6.9 is incorrect. But if instead, if we type in here 6.893, which we were getting here when we put our mouse over the 6.89, 6.893. Well, now when we press enter, boom, correct, correct. Congratulations, the answer is correct. And so that is how you can model up that part using the uh, option for symmetry. Let's click submit here. We did it in six minutes and 45 seconds. How do we do compared to the field? Uh, pretty close. The average time for the field is six minutes, 21 seconds, and our time was six minutes and 45 seconds. So pretty close, pretty close to what the rest of the field got. And uh, of course, a lot of times my goal is to get in there faster than the average time. So what I could do is I could maybe come up here and say, try again, and then try it again using some of the skills that I learned as I went through um, and modeled it the first time. Maybe I can get my time to be a little faster. You can also look down here. We can see that there's some people who have posted some tutorials. So it looks like we've got a tutorial here from Fusion, nice, from Margus Doom. And we've got a tutorial here in SolidWorks from Daniel. And now you're gonna be able to see my tutorial here as well using Onshape. I'll post it right up here, Toby's tutorial. And uh, if we go down a little bit further, we can see here what the fastest times were for this model. So the fastest time looks like it was 21 seconds. Wow, that is really, really fast. But you can see some of the other fastest times here on this table, which is pretty cool to see how fast people are modeling this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you like what we're doing here with these tutorials and with this platform, be sure to sign up for the platform and sign up for Practice Models Premium. It's a great way to support the channel, support what we're doing and you know let us keep going we're really having fun with this project so hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to like be sure to subscribe leave me some comments down below and i'll look forward to seeing everyone in the next tutorial